I'm proud to be Vietnamese Canadian, but I'll be honest, I haven't been home since I was four. Now luckily, married couple Tree and Hang have opened up Russell and Still, and they're bringing a bit of Vietnamese coffee culture to Canada. Tell me a little bit about the cafe and, and, and what you want to capture in terms of an experience. Russell and Still kind of creates a contrast um, of two different states. And then nowadays, people are just so, you know, kind of busy and we, we want to create an environment where people can just have a break from that a little bit. We came here as international students around 14, 15 years ago. I was an HR consultant before and Hank was a chemist. I'm always passionate about coffee and Hank always passionate about food. We decided that, you know, we're still young, we want to take a risk, we want to kind of follow our passion. How do you want people to feel when they're eating the food that, that you make? For the food over here, I just want to share with people my memory of um, my childhood. When I grew up in Vietnam, like I always grab a banh mi before I go to school. Every morning I make sandwich, it remind me like how people make the sandwich for me at home. In looking at the food and smelling the smells, there's so much nostalgia. People usually know the Vietnamese coffee for the one with the condensed milk and it's like super strong and bitter. So we want to change that perspective a little bit um, by showcasing the Vietnamese the Arabica beans in different brew methods. There's, there's a lack of Vietnamese kind of street food, casual food, and that's why we focus on, you know, just like the popular banh mi. In Vietnam, this is called the banh mi chao, which is essentially the banh mi skillet. Oh my god, there's elements that remind me so much of my childhood, like the pate. When I mean, you take a bite of that and those flavors, does it remind you of anything? It definitely, yeah. I, I would say it ties back to the whole uh, food and coffee culture in Vietnam, where everything is so, I would say, casual, you know, relaxed. And you're capturing a little bit of that here. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs>